And welcome to part three of the Kinesis patch walkthrough. We are now on arpeggios, so let me just go ahead and shut up and start playing. Arps are arps, so we don't have to second guess. Is it poly? Is it mono? They're all poly. They're arps. Let's go. Mod wheel. So there's bits of silence, okay? Just hold your hands down on the cord. It's it's going. You might think, did it stop? No, no. it's just every once in a while it'll take a little break and it'll just let the patch breathe. Okay. So... Okay. X, Y controls. Very sensitive. Might seem quiet at first, but it's just gives you a lot of velocity sensitivity. Mod wheel. I think with a few of these ARPs, there might be uh, a few hot spots. A little bit with gain here and there. Try to troubleshoot that as much as possible when doing the XY editing. But every once in a while, you might get a little surprise. Um, but like I said, we try to stay on top of it as much as I possibly could. Um. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. These are some of the best ARPs I've ever made, in my opinion. But of course it is, because it's my library. Very sensitive. I think it's just... Just really something nice to sprinkle over sequences or pads or whatever.
just... I think I just want to have a session where I just record all of these patches with all of these crazy XY assignments. Because you could just get, oh my god, some of the most beautiful organic sounds. Okay. Touch. There's some envelope stuff. This one, there's some creative use of the shape sequencer. Different things are kind of looping and overlapping each other at different times because they're not the same lengths of the it's gone rain thing. touch reversed fizz and mod wheel kind of tightens things up a bit just razor sharp. This is not difficult to set up, by the way. In Bitwig, anyway. It's just a separate random modulator assigned to both the X and Y axis of each XY controller. So there's uh, an X and Y axis for each controller. So there's eight random modulators assigned to each one. That's all. And they're smooth, of course. But uh, I highly recommend doing this. In uh, any DAW that you can do it in. I think you can do it in Ableton Live also, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of their smoothed random LFO. Who knows, maybe there's. I haven't used Ableton in a couple of years. But anyway, let's stay on topic. Right now it's about ARPS. Mod wheel. A little tacky thing with Aftertouch. and silent and then come back to life and surprise you 
ebb and flow, rests and movement. That's literally the whole point. Okay. So, love this patch. This one says stick to basic chord formulas. So in a lot of these, there are uh, s same kind of thing with the uh, uh, melodic sequences. A lot of the times there's stacked fifths above the octave and below the octave. And usually you want to stay away from things like seventh chords or and, and because like just a major triad will already give you... It'll already give you those those major sevenths, you know, and a minor chord will give you those minor sevenths. And it's probably some ninths sprinkled in there as well. Little mod wheel. Tamed ping. Longer sustain. Okay, without the mod wheel. Just a little bit brighter. Some XY stuff. lower chord. Oh, that's a seven. Stay away from that. Basic triads. The patch description. You will want to consult these patches. These, the patch description anyway. Sometimes you'll play a chord and you'll be like, why does it sound weird? Probably because there's fifths all over the place. So you just want to give it basic triads. You don't have to get fancy. Okay, not all of the sequences are like that, but quite a few of them actually. It's, it's actually kind of a bad habit of mine. I have a tendency to sprinkle fifths all over the place. Uh, there's a lot of sequences in arpeggios that are like that. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, moving right along to... Pretty. Okay, that's the filter. The filter has some... I believe there's some quantization happening there. Because I have self-oscillating filters. Nice little generative surprises. You never quite know what to expect when the XY controls start moving. Mod wheel. Twinkly bits. touch mod wheel x y s x y s with mod wheel and after touch Okay, there we go. Mod wheel. X, Y controls.
Okay. Mod wheel. After touch is like a pink noise thing. And some XY controls. To be quite honest, auto assignments are a cool idea, but they hardly ever work out. Uh, it's not really a stab at you, he. It's just, it's just the truth. Auto assignments just hardly ever work out. Um, but you know, it was a nice idea. Let's keep going. Nocturnal activity. Let's play a happier chord. I play a minor chord. There we go. Some butterflies. Ooh. Wing flappy sounds. I called it nocturnal activity because it sounded like a bat, a bat flapping its wings. It's okay, it's not quiet, it's just sensitive. Sometimes there's almost kind of like a fantasy vibe with some of these sounds that wasn't intentional. I was just trying to create the most organic fluid movement that I possibly could. But yeah, sometimes there's almost sort of like a fantasy, sort of high fantasy kind of thing happening. Let's play a happy major chord, shall we? One of these days I'll learn how to play uh, piano. <laughs> I don't know how to play. And I've been doing this for years. Like I said, it's not quiet, it's just sensitive.
awesome. Okay, next up. Oh, oops, that was two. Okay, let's go back one. Yes. Right, this is another one that says play simple triads and power chords so the mod wheel assignment doesn't sound too strange. So there's obviously, I, it's been a it's been a minute since I programmed these patches, guys. Uh, I can't remember what the mod wheel does. All right, sounds like some probably some fifths and stuff like that going on with the mod wheel. XY assignments. Yeah, I did some ratcheting in the shape sequencer, and the result was just like blah, crazy. It's like these dotted sixteenths or something. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. This this library has been in the pipeline for a minute, so it's so. Uh, it was, a, it was a little while ago that I uh, that I made these patches. So if it sounds like I'm going through somebody else's patches, I'm not. I made these. It's just, it's been in the pipeline for, for, for a second, okay? So yeah, I'm currently working on a different library and a different synth, and, and now I'm back in Hive uh, going through this walkthrough. Uh, so... Wait, let's go through the mod wheel. The aftertouch is this strange interference. I think it's like this audio rate modulation coming from one of the LFOs. Yes, you can get audio rate modulation without an, without an actual, like, straight-up audio signal from the oscillators. You can just have a really, really fast LFO. Oh, it's coming from the shape sequencer. Yeah, that's right. And XY assignments. since I've edited these patches, so I'm, I'm kind of just as surprised as you are going through some of these XY modulations.
technically this is an ARP because it's using the scale quantizer in the key of C. So everything's in the key of C. It's in the ARP section because technically it is an ARP, but it's a mono, it really is a mono sequence that's just using the ARP uh, as a sequence. So it's a little strange that this mono sequence is, is here in the arpeggio section. Maybe we'll move it, I don't know. no matter what key I play. playing like all black keys right now but it's all locked in the key of C so there's not there's no wrong note that I can play let's have fun with the XY controls Ooh. some bit crushy things happening musical patch. Okay, so... surprises oh this is another one that says stick to basic chords simple triads and inversions a lot happening here with added fifths and octaves okay usually when i do this thing with fifths and octaves and stuff moving around i'll usually let you know in the patch description there might be a couple of patches where i forgot to tell you about it but i try to tell you about it when i do it so Try to make this a minor. Okay, sounds good. Mod wheel. Oh. Lovely. The strings take over with the mod wheel and there's this soft swelling thing so you can fade in between this. Mod wheel. The aftertouch brings in these whistling overtones. There they are. Mod wheel again. Oh, let's have fun with this for a little bit with the XY assignments.
playing with everything right now. XY assignments, mod wheel aftertouch. So I'm moving six faders around. So much expression that you can enjoy. Ah, I love that patch. Good job, Brian. Okay. Mod wheel. Aftertouch. Crushed plucks. So maybe the nice thing when you add, when you uh, assign your mod wheel and aftertouch to some faders on your MIDI controller is that you can, you can kind of put them where you like it just leave it there so let's do some xy stuff Ooh, that's sensitive maybe i'll readjust that Sounds like there's some quantized things on the filter XY because I have self-oscillating filters. When you when you have filter ping happening, you don't always you're not always able to modulate the filter in the same way that you would modulate it if you didn't have self self-oscillating filters. Because when you move the filter, it's oscillating at a pitch. Okay. So you move the filter and you get this. You don't want that. All right. So sometimes I had to quantize those filter assignments. Yeah, it's quantized. So that's not that's not necessarily something that uh, when when you have quantized uh, filter assignments uh, with XY2, I believe, um, that's not something that you would probably want to modulate with an LFO. That's probably something you would want to just Hear it? See what I'm talking about? Sounds good when I do that. But usually when you have these quantized self-oscillating filter assignments, you probably just want to set and forget and, and then not touch it. They just modulate the other three. Modulate. Sometimes you don't always want to modulate everything with random LFOs. That needs to go back to where it was. Oh, no. oh, that's because I manually did it. All right, that's fine. Okay. Sparkle and hiss. So. If some of these patches are a little too velocity sensitive for you on the on the, uh, the you can just readjust the amplitude velocity and just bring it down a little bit and that'll just make it a little bit louder so you're like oh that's too quiet you just put it to where where you want it and if you want to make it yours you can just be safe you know Did this so wow there we go so steam plunk i like this patch the 
mod wheel makes the uh, filter pink kind of more tidy. Resonance thing, things happening. Some strange, strange resonances. I think my XY2 is being disobedient because I manually touched it. I might have to reset the, the, uh, the clock and Bitwig, but then I'd have to open up Bitwig, and it would get in the way of this beautiful background that we have, so we'll just go ahead and uh, put up with XY2's disobedience right now. It's my fault. I touched it. Okay. Mod wheel. After touch is a twinkly step. Kind of slow, but I think it's kind of nice that it's slow. Why to behave that time? Well, that's good. All right, a couple of more. And the final arpeggio with sprinkles. And it is as weird as I am. My friend is messaging me. It is a bad time, friend. Little mod wheel. I love the sound of uh, self oscillating filters that are also really heavily distorting. Oh, so nice. Hear how quiet that was for a while? Silence. It's a beautiful thing. So anyway. That, those are the ARPs. And uh, I will see you again.
on the next walkthrough video for the pads. We love our pads, don't we? Yes, I will see you next time with pads. Bye.